Hi, in this clip, I'm going to go through the words of the day that are in the junior tip of the tongue. Um, now, the idea behind words of the day has been around for a long time. It's just it didn't work for me. Uh, maybe it's because I have three classes, so I was taking three different readers each day, selecting three different words from them, um, and then trying to juggle these three words, and they just weren't theme-based or anything, and I just didn't use them. They weren't reinforced, and thus the children didn't develop the vocabulary the way I wanted them to. Which is why I came up with the different themes, okay? So there are themes going through all three boxes, all the way to sixth class, okay? Now, in the junior tip of the tongue, you've got your different various themes, and each theme has got 15 words of the day for you to teach the children. 15 words, because it will take you three weeks to go through the words of the day in that theme. Five words each week. Um, so just say the word was fantastic, okay? You are going to try and model that word with the children as often as possible throughout the day. So that's fantastic, right, Jimmy? Oh my, that's fantastic. Writing, Johnny. The weather, it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic you're sharing your toys. So you try and model the word, the word as much as possible. If the children are doing any written work, you can encourage them to put the word in their writing in school, at home, and maybe get extra ticks or smiley faces and so on if they use the word during the day. It's all bribery really to get these um, vocabulary ingrained in their imagination. So when you've finished your, your theme, you've covered your three three weeks of the words. All the words are on, just say this example now, it's a Halloween theme so it's not going to get um, mixed up. So just say you've covered your words, you're going to reinforce it further. So if there's colourful cards, they're also on a CD-ROM. You'll see that the words they've been doing, like the one I showed you, fantastic. Okay, it's now fitting into a theme that you want to do, Halloween, say if it's October time. So um, they serve as adjectives. You get the children used from a young age to use descriptive words. So fantastic wizard, spooky pumpkin, evil cat, trick or treat, moonlit night, scary monster, steaming cauldron, mysterious mummy, and so on. With mysterious being a word of the day, but now they're using it in the form of an adjective under whatever theme you wanted to teach. Um, now the different themes, I'm going to try and hold them up for you, so you can see what themes I have here with the junior box. Um, knowing me, I'll not be able to put them up straight that you can see them. Um, hopefully you can see them, take a screenshot, but I'll read them anyway. So you've got Circus, Halloween, Pirate Adventure, Storm, The Farm, uh, Royalty Theme, Camping Beach, The Fun Fair, Fantasy, Underwater Adventure, Fire, Accident, Shopping, Party and Holiday. You'll also see um, year one and year two. That's in case you're teaching a multigrade situation. So the first year you would teach the first topics and the second year the second topics. Likewise where it says year one, two, three. Like myself, if you've got three classes this year, I might focus on these topics next year and the following. It's like a rotation effect so the children aren't doing the same vocabulary all the time. Um, so then you have covered your theme. So just say Halloween. I'm just going to find my Halloween page. They know the vocabulary. You have maybe integrated it now into your Astur, into your drama, into play. You're trying to use it throughout the, cla the daytime, you know, in the classroom or at home. Written work, uh, maybe creating little stories and so on. But you want to reinforce it further. So there, these are what I call my vocabulary story sheets. So just say that is um, focused there on Halloween. So the children have their own sheet, picture based as well, because it's for the readers and the non-readers. And you can use it as a talk and discuss um, lesson, purely or language on Halloween. Okay, so they can make little characters, they create different scenarios and so on. So that's basically the tip of the tongue for the junior classes. Thank you for watching.